So before we begin this test, I'm going to let you know that this is the latest nightly build of Mojo Launcher, which you can find on their GitHub repository as they haven't updated it since October of 2025. And this is the latest version of Zaleth Launcher, which is 1.4.1.2. I'm also using a custom build of the LTW render that I ended up putting together myself based off of the LTW GitHub repository. I got all the libraries and everything, and I will show you that. This is the setting that I'm going to be using as my default settings as well for both instances. I'm also going to be using the same amount of RAM, so 400 or 4,024 megabytes. And I'm also gonna be using like the same controls, launcher settings, and the same mod pack. So this is the mod pack we're gonna be using, which is OptiMobile. It's an optimization mod pack for mobile devices. Of course, you should change the render distance based off of your needs and how much FPS you get. However, this device that I'm using is an AYN Odin 2. As you can see in the background, it has a Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. And I assure you, before we even do this test, that both renderers and both launchers are gonna do exactly the same thing. Now this is Mojo Launcher. Same settings, same settings, video settings, everything. Enable sustained performance, 100% resolution, same render, and same actual RAM, okay? And I'm gonna make sure that both launchers are only running at the same time so that you can actually see everything up close and center. Also the same mod pack and all that kind of stuff. And I'm also gonna do a side-by-side -side comparison near the end of this video so you can actually see everything. We're just gonna do a back and forth just to show you. And I'm also gonna use the same seed for 1.21.4. So let's go check out a seed. Let's type in 1.21.4 Java seeds. Okay, and let's go see which one pops up first. We're gonna grab whatever this one is, okay? Actually, let's go to this one. It says it has many structures nearby. Copy, and I'm gonna actually close out of everything else inside of Google Chrome, make sure that nothing's running. I'm also gonna use something on this device that allows me to speed up my RAM and clear out all the processes. And we're going to test out Mojo Launcher first. We're not testing out how fast Mojo Launcher boots or how fast Zeoth Launcher boots. That's all dependent on also the internet and everything too, if it logs in fast and everything because I am logged into my Microsoft account. And again, the reason why I'm doing this is because I have kids like this that come into my TikTok or my YouTube and say, Mojo Launcher is better because it has more FPS. Well, this is gonna confirm whether or not you're right. Now I have multiple devices I could test this on. You want me to test this on even a low spec device? I'll let you know when that video comes out by just posting the video. Or you can comment in the comment section below. Video settings, we're gonna make sure that everything is set up the same so that you know I'm not manipulating anything or changing anything. Eight chunks, eight render disks, or eight shadow, uh, eight uh, 12 simulation. You can see all the, the actual settings here. Unlimited frame rate, I'm gonna have the actual FPS showing in the top right of the screen, so if anybody wants to see that. And I'm also, again, going to be using the same mods. No manipulation, no changes, anything like that. Here's all the mods, and let's go to single player and go to normal, go to world. Let's paste that seed in here and we're going to use the keyboard. I forgot it's called keyboard, not input. And let's paste that and let's create this new world. And we're making sure that everything's the same. So we're gonna use hard mode survival and let's click on create new world. Another thing that we're not testing is how fast the game boots into the game. Sometimes the game boots faster on one launcher and the other. The big thing that we're looking at is this FPS in the top right hand side of the screen. Now, I guess I forgot to set up the controls. I am using a controller by the way. So let's basically set this up quickly here and we will continue forth in a second. Okay, so, oh, show FPS. I don't think I turned that on. Hold on a second. Show FPS, there it is right there. Show FPS extended, apply, and there we go. Now, we are in an area, a cherry blossom biome with a whole bunch of graphics, okay? And I wanna stay in this area because I don't wanna move much past this actual mountain right here, mostly just to show you, hey, this is what FPS we're getting around here. Now, if we looked at the sky, this is a best way to actually, the best way to actually test to see what kind of FPS we're getting because looking at the sky is always going to show you the same amount of FPS usually because there's not a lot of graphics up there and all you're seeing are, are those clouds up there. So about 900, 800 when we go to those trees because we're showing more graphics. So between eight and 900 FPS. And again, this is at eight render distance. This is at 100% resolution scale and I know I can get more FPS. So let's go this way. I'm getting about 200 FPS if I'm running this way through these trees 
We're going to try to remember where we're located here. Actually, let's do this. Since we are testing this out for location as well, we can turn on another graphic on the screen, which will show us where we're going. So we're on the Y axis. Z axis is going in the negative direction. And we are in the X axis around, you know, three to 10. So let's keep going this way. See what kind of FPS we're getting averages wise. And then we'll do a comparison. Oh, there's another mountain over here, which is actually pretty cool to actually see because then we can actually see if anything changes for FPS when we get over to this mountain that doesn't show a lot of graphics, which is about 500 plus FPS by looking at this mountain. And if we look at the sky again, again, well, look at that FPS, 10, 1000, 1100, 1140, 1104, okay? And this is with Mojo Launcher, okay? So Mojo Launcher, again, we'll do a side-by-side -side comparison and wrap things up at the end. And again, I'm not also testing um you know how much performance i'm getting while playing this for a long period of time but this is just me testing it basically just jumping into the world with the same seed and everything and now we're going to do the same thing with zeth launcher so go right here we're going to go right here speed up processes make sure everything's cleared out and go to zeth launcher and show you all the settings game settings again i'm using the same you know ram i already showed you all this i think and i'm using like the same ltw renderer and i'm using the same mods and everything as well i'll show you all the mods when we get into the world and let's launch the game again we're not testing this test based off of how fast do we log into the game or anything like that we're testing it based off of how much performance we're getting and how much fps we're getting and how much you know fps we're getting with the same seed the same world and if there's really any significant differences between between using the LTW render on Zaleth Launcher and using the LTW render on the uh, Mojo Launcher, which is what it's on. Same settings again, guys, quality, same settings, okay? Everything is the same. If you don't believe me, then get the heck out of here. But anyways, create a new world. I already created a new world for just testing to make sure that the um, render was actually showing up properly and on clipboard there's a seed okay so create new world let's load in and let's see what kind of fps we're getting and make sure that we're actually in the same area as we were in the other launcher the big thing to note here too if you don't know if you've listened this far oh here's this mountain okay same mountain same fps everything is the same as soon as we actually start loading in and 200 fps x and y axis we were at what what was it it was three let's go over here i think we were over here we're still getting 200 fps right here right we're at around the three axis and let's look at the sky look at the sky 700 800 keep going let's turn around i think we were looking this way before there's the 800 fps 900 fps still the same thing and there's that mountain that we first loaded in on and i think this is the direction that we started going so it was in the negative direction so let's keep going this way keep note of the fps 200 fps still doing the same exact same thing and oh if you want to see the actual uh render on screen there's the render ltw latest build january 4th 2026 it is using the ltw render and again nothing absolutely nothing about Zaleth launcher is changing the way that the ltw render is rendering the graphics on the screen and we'll do a side by side comparison there might be like random 20 to 50 fps differences there's those same sheep and everything too which is kind of cool to see and look at 500 fps 600 fps same thing I've already done a video about whether or not oh, there's 1100 FPS. Yeah, look at this. It's the same exact same thing, guys. Nothing different about the FPS whatsoever. The big thing is that I know for a fact, based off of my testing, the mobile glues render, yes, it's a little bit heavy on the back end with the code and everything, but I've noticed a significant difference with stabilization. Stable, stabilization. Stabilization. Frick, I sometimes stutter my words. Whereas the LTW render, sometimes I notice huge lag spikes where the frames dip all the way down to like 100 to 200 FPS for no reason at all. Just out of nowhere. Like the LTW render was doing a great job for a long time when it used to be in Pojav launcher, which doesn't exist anymore. And yes, I know all of these launchers are based off of Pojav launcher, but the developers from the main Pojav launcher moved to Amethyst. Data launcher is ran by some Chinese person and Mojo launcher is one of the developers 
developers that used to work with the Pojav launcher team who was basically kicked out of the Pojav launcher team for certain reasons. I'm not explaining that here, but yeah, that's what this renderer is based off of is the renderer that we got back in, I think January of 2025, and it started showing significant performance increases, but now we have mobile glues. There's also the Krypton wrapper render, which helps with lower versions uh, below 1.17. Some people have said that it's worked great on 1.21.11, but I have not had any great, you know, performance increases with it at all. I might do another video about that because people keep asking, can you do a video showing all of the renders and all of the <laughs> launchers? And I'm like, sure, fine, why not? So maybe that'll come soon, but I like to do this kind of stuff because I like to test things and share things and prove people wrong in a sense, and also maybe prove my myself wrong but again this does not show any differences zealoth launcher versus mojo launcher mojo launcher does not show any performance increases at all with the same renderer 